Alright guys, in this tutorial we're going to see how to create a custom email address for you with your name or your business name after the at sign or something like that instead of the at gmail or at yahoo or at hotmail etc. There are a few ways to do this and um, the best one in my opinion involves having the domain name you want first. So something like honestcollege.com here or dearblogger.org or your name.edu or whatever because we're gonna put that exact domain name after the at sign that's typically how this is done and the most common way is to use your web server and here I am in my web server where I have websites built and stored and we're gonna use the same space that stores the websites to store the emails using this free email accounts tool this is of course in HostGator's cPanel so if you've set up a hosting plan with HostGator just a basic hosting plan you'll be all set and if you have a different web host these steps should still work just fine uh, let me know if you have any questions and let's get started alright so once you log into your cPanel go ahead and click on email accounts alright and a lot of uh, web hosts have this cPanel tool that you see right here that, that HostGator is known for. So hopefully this looks the same wherever you are. Alright, then just write in your new email. So choose the right extension right here. In other words, the domain name. Alright, I'm just going to write in test email. And then use a password you'll remember this isn't something you want to have to come back to ever again so just try to use whatever you're used to alright my password is OK click unlimited and create account alright here's the email we just created so that's great let's go to the home of your cPanel and in the olden days the best way to use this email was to set up a forwarder so emails would come into this inbox that we just made and then they would forward to whatever email you currently use um, in my case that's gmail alright but HostGator uh, says they strongly recommend utilizing fetch email as opposed to forwarding and I'm not sure why it could be because email forwarding might go out of style soon but if HostGator recommends it we should be doing it unfortunately we know how to do it the right way before we set up our email fetch though I'll show you how now just by creating that email you can click webmail and then go to webmail login wait a couple seconds and so just by doing this much you can start checking your new email account and it can start receiving emails so here we are all you need to do is choose one of three providers like squirrel mail it's my favorite just click that might take a little while to load if this is your brand new email account so then you just have to create some basic information and you have a new inbox all set alright however I don't want to have to check my email within HostGator cPanel I want to do that from what I'm comfortable with which is Gmail so let's close this inbox and we can actually close our cPanel alright now we want to set up the email we just created within the email inbox we're used to Okay, we want to sync the email accounts so that when we compose a message we can choose who to send it from we can see the test email we made is not here yet and then also we can get the email here which is called fetching fetching the email to this inbox alright so to sync the email accounts and set up fetching click the gear then click settings all right, and then click accounts and import 
scroll down to this section check mail from other accounts using POP3 and just click this blue link add a mail account we'll get this pop-up window just write in the email we made in cPanel click next step alright and this is where it gets tricky so just follow along with these instructions type in the password that you created in cPanel and we're gonna leave a copy of the retrieve message on the server so in case we don't get the message in Gmail that we wanted it'll be on cPanel then let's click add account alright we can see the server denied access and the reason that happened is because the username is wrong the username should actually be the full email address type in the password from cPanel again and leave the POP server at mail.yourdomain.com and now let's try to add account alright so that worked and your mail account has been added you can now retrieve mail from this account would you also like to be able to send mail as and of course we would we want to be able to send business emails from this address so just check yes and click next alright and then you can edit the name that will show up in the from line in someone else's inbox I'll leave this stuff checked next step alright and here's where it could uh, throw us off again so let's just try entering our password from cPanel and putting in username full email address for username secure connection TLS is recommended and then add account with port 587 alright and it says authentication failed so this would be another roadblock however I know that what we need to do in this case is put in mail right here instead of SMTP so just type in mail.honestcollege.com or whatever your domain name is you don't need to know exactly why this information has to be like this however if you do some research on the web or on HostGator support articles or what have you you can definitely find a full explanation we just want settings in Gmail to match settings in HostGator perfectly. With this entered, let's try again. And we have been successful. It says congratulations. The final step now is to enter our verification confirmation code. So basically Gmail is just confirming that the HostGator email works with a test email and a verification code we'll leave this email open and go to your inbox open up the confirmation email and just copy your confirmation code and paste it in right here or you can click that link click verify and you should be in business alright now when we click compose we see we have this new option to send from the email we just created the test email alright so let's try emailing ourselves to see if this email actually can send send it and refresh and there it is alright so this is from the custom email that works and now let's compose again and let's just type in a uh, email like that and we'll send it from ourselves so make sure that people can send us email at this new address and send it and if we refresh we'll be all set and there we go 
All right, so congratulations, you just created a new email address that people can send email to, and um, you can also send email from that address using your Gmail. All right, thanks for watching, uh, have a great day, and let me know any questions down below. See you next time.